You've got to invent something. Invent something. All inventors are rich. What's the name of that bloke who invented the Dyson vacuum cleaner? <laughs> Dyson. A millionaire. What about that bloke who invented the biro? Bick. <laughs> millionaire. It's an old trick. I thought about that, but everything's already been invented, hasn't it? Not everything. Picture this. You're on a crowded bus, and you get an itch in your back. And no matter how hard you try, you just can't reach it. So, what do you do? Ask one of the other passengers to scratch it for you. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, yeah. no, you can't do that, Dave. No, Trig, I was just on the bus. I tried that once, and it caused nothing but trouble. <laughs> now, what's this? Chopstick. Correct. With this, you can reach down and hit the spot. That is very good, Trig. It's good. Not quite up to Bill Gates standard, but it is brilliant. I don't want to disappoint you, Trig, and I know the Chinese have always been a very inventive race, but we created something years ago that rather beat them to the punch. We called it the back scratcher. Yeah, but they're big, long things, Dave. You can't carry one of them in your inside pocket. It will stick out. People will look. It's a no trick, but what you've got to do, you've got to have something long, haven't you? To get it right down there where the itch is, isn't it? That thing's too short. So, what's the answer? Another drink. <laughs> no. <laughs> Two chopsticks. I'm going to fit a little hinge on the end <laughs> so you can open it out scratch away fold it down again and put it back in your pocket <laughs> and you can use it for pointing at things <laughs> well it's brilliant isn't it no more fingers <laughs> this is just a specimen i'm going back to my flat now to work on it when I take the patent out, Dill, I'm going to put it in your name. Thanks, Trick. Yeah. See you on tomorrow's world. <laughs>